families, nearly 30 people, are without a home after a fire at a Fargo apartment complex last night. Valley News Team's Jillian Trudeau spoke with a longtime renter who rushed home to her son after the flames were spotted. <clears throat> the whole time I just wanted to get to my son. Sandra Hansen was at work in Pelican Rapids when she got a call from her son at home saying there was a fire in their apartment building. And when she checked her security cameras, I could hear the flames. So that's what really got me going. So I heard I could hear the flames and then all of the smoke detectors in our apartment were going up. The fire department was called to 605 11th Street South. When crews arrived, flames were shooting from the roof, engulfing the apartment complex. In talking with neighbors, Hansen says they are unsure if the building's fire alarms were working. She said she started listening and she heard the person that was like on the 911 call saying that, you know, there's no alarms, the alarms are going off and nobody's out. Um, and then, uh, some people were actually still sleeping in their beds when a uh, fire was on scene and started putting out the fire. Hansen has lived here with her children for 10 years. I wanted to stay here until I bought my own house, you know, because it's, we do have a lot of really good memories here. She doesn't know the extent of the damage or whether she'll be able to recover any belongings. Everything just kind of like, is had to put a hole in the wall or in the ceiling up there and they just kind of threw everything over and then all the stuff came down. Fargo fire officials say the 12 unit complex will need extensive repairs before anyone can move back in. For now, next steps for Hansen are unclear. I don't even know where to begin to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just going to lean on, um, on my friends and uh, everyone around me because I have no idea where to begin right now. Jillian Trudeau, Valley News Live. The cause of that fire is still being investigated. Meanwhile, the Red Cross is providing temporary housing and financial assistance to the people who have been displaced. One man is